Greetings, members, one and all of the Salivation Nation. Sanctions against Iran may actually cause gold demand to jump before winding down. Before slowing down, according to Kitgo, Iran's gold demand will see a surge in the short term in response to U.S. President Donald Trump's decision to pull out of the Iran nuclear deal, according to one metal focus analyst. What's going to happen initially is people will try to convert whatever they have into dollars or gold or whatever is of value that's not going to depreciate. Metals focus analyst uh, Kajdas Kukanmakaluglu told Bloomberg on Wednesday, I know that I pronounced that exactly right, then next year the demand will gradually start to go down, but it's not going to be drastic. The base is very low, is already very low. And it should be noted that today's news, as of the recording of this video, Iran's currency has already lost uh, quite a bit of value just on the announcement of those sanctions. In the next few months, gold demand is, is looking to be strong in Iran. Kuka uh, Klaglu added, pointing to historical examples. Based on the World Gold Council's data, when a previous set of sanctions was imposed in Iran in 2012, Gold demand be began to drop only after two years, and in 2016, demand for the yellow metal hit a six-year low, reaching only 45.1 metric tons, which was 65% lower than in 2013. A year later, there was a recovery, with demand hitting 64.5 metric tons last year, according to the World Gold Council. On Tuesday, U.S. President Donald Trump announced that he is withdrawing from the Iran nuclear deal and reinstating U.S. nuclear sanctions on the Iranian regime, as well as introducing the highest level of economic sanctions. So it's pretty serious. He described the 2015 international agreement as a decaying and rotten structure that is defective to its core. American sanctions on Iran will be reintroduced after 90 days, says the U.S. Department of Treasury. Uh, also, when making gold demand estimates, it is important to keep in mind Iran's weak ri rival currency, which has been boosting bar and coin demand, said Kuka Kulkanraglaga. In the first quarter of 2018, gold bar and coin purchases more than tripled as Ryle tumbled to record lows against the U.S. dollar. But weak currency in the long term might force Iranians to sell their gold for cash, um, he pointed out. If sanctions stay, the economy will get poorer. Gold is a good way to get cash when you need it, he said. So yes, that's the thing. People are going to protect themselves in Iran because you know the government is going to pass its sanctions along to the people. And... Uh, um, and take whatever they want, just like when they took all that money that was offered to them in the 2015 deal. None of the people got any of that money, that's for sure. And uh, they're, on that related note, how to properly diversify amid rising Iran tension, tensions, according to this analyst. The U.S. decision to pull out of the Iran nuclear deal means increased market volatility, and investors need to make sure they are properly diversified, said one analyst, adding that he sees gold rallying in the short term. There would be global stock market sell-offs as the world adjusts to the news. Um, Devere Group International Investment Strategist, uh, Strategist Tom Elliott said on a note Tuesday, Donald Trump announced on Tuesday that he is withdrawing from the Iran nuclear deal, reinstating nu uh, U.S. nuclear sanctions on the Iranian regime regime and introducing the highest level of economic sanctions. And in the short term, the 2015 uh, Elliott projects gold prices will rally as markets digest the news itself, as well as any additional geopolitical fallout. Due to the severity of the U.S. President's approach, in the shorter term, it's likely that gold and the U.S. dollar may rally on growing fears of further conflicts in the Middle East breaking out and risk uh, asset, and assets, namely stocks and credit markets, may weaken. Oil may rally strongly, he wrote. The rally might even find long-term support if Iran takes on a more aggressive approach. I expect that Iran will try to continue to appear the reasonable partner 
and work with Russia and Europeans, playing them off against the U.S. If they take a more aggressive stance, Oil, gold, and the dollar will go considerably higher, according to the strategist. And I'll interject there, already a day after these sanctions, the Iranian parliament has already burned a paper U.S. flag, and she shouted, death to America, which they is nothing new for them. They're doing that even amidst the, amidst the deal. So, uh, And they've also increased funding for uh, their um, missile programs. In order to benefit the most from this kind of unstable environment, Elliot suggests that investors diversify, which means invest in gold and silver. So we shall see. Geopolitical events such as these underscore how essential it is for investors to always ensure that they are properly diversified. This includes across asset classes, sectors, and geographical regions to mitigate potential risks in their investment returns. Certainly a wise decision in any market, really, to diversify. But uh, maybe a little bit more in times like these. Just kind of watch and see where things play out from here. So post your thoughts below on this uh, on this news. And uh, what are your thoughts? And do you think it, uh, that in the time being, as the gold demands uh, increase in Iran, is that going to have any a dent at all in the markets? Or do you think it's just the uncertainty of the situation and how they will react to it? And uh, it being the key factor. Post your thoughts below. I'd like to extend a multitude of gratitude to you all for watching. And encourage you to please rate, comment, and subscribe.